did have a pretty strong showing during game one. Of, you know, player one ultimately came through in the end with mm -hmm. a good bit of Ike knowledge. He's probably played Tope a very a good a bit recently at 404. Sure. So definitely fresh in that matchup. But excited to see how Chun can carry that momentum into this set against player one, you know. Definitely. With Deep Blue being so talented and so aggressive on that Falcon, mm -hmm. it's going to be great to see how he carries that forward. Yeah, and we see the character choices here. Young Link from Shun and Diddy, of course, from Player One. Diddy, you know, Player One's been playing Diddy since Brawl, mm -hmm. and Shun, previously a Tinling main, but, you know, in this game, he's like, you know, I want to go the more, you know, flashier route, new character, or, you know, newer, uh, bringing it back, and, you know, it's been working out. So we'll see how he does here, and let's get this going. Top 32. This is for the chance to play Cola, by the way, so. Yeah, and one thing that you were, we're going to have to look for is how Chu uh, uses his outer shield options. Young Link has a few pretty quick outer shield options. And like there, the spin attack coming out on frame nine, especially against Diddy, this is something I've played a good bit in friendlies with a friend. And this matchup is all about controlling item play, using that bomb to kind of mess up Diddy's tempo. Oh, yeah. And neither of these two competitors are unfamiliar with item play. You know, you have the banana on one end, and you know whoever is able to use that more effectively, it, it, it's really important in this matchup. You know, Chun has to be able to capitalize whenever he does get it. But of course, player one being able to pull it whenever he wants is normally going to have it in his possession for the most uh, for the most part. Yeah, and like you mentioned earlier, player one is such a force in the Diddy Kong meta, almost a progenitor for all of their tech. Yep. So you have to expect that he knows at least how to deal with Young Link bombs trying to throw that tempo off. For sure. I mean, dealing with projectiles, like, you're going to have to know how to do that uh, as a Diddy solo main. Uh, and of course, you know, he kind of struggles with uh, those type of characters in general. But we'll see how player one adapts. And yeah, and you know, it's right now it's just an absolute back and forth slugfest, but you can't get hit by that fair. That'll take out the first stock going to Chun. Good stuff right there, and you know, player one's gonna retaliate as well as he can. A 142. Oh, going for the spike, but doesn't even matter. Chun buffering an air dodge. Not sure what the reasoning was, because it didn't seem like he was gonna get stage spike, but I guess it was just a weird situation. It might have been a threat by by player one of he's trying to like hit him for a stage spike, but right now it's Chun needs to hold the center stage and make sure player one has to keep changing his approach options. Like right now, he oh. has a huge oh vortex my on him. God, the combo game is is ready. Oh, excuse Ooh. me, what's going on? Wait, where is he? Wait he's a second, stage. he's back. How is he back? From the depths. Player one, so innovative. Did, did he grab onto the stadium? What did he do? I think he side B onto the stage and clung onto it and then jump and then charge up B and just got back with a good angle. Well, this is what the Lord. state is known for, you know, great play, and definitely not expecting anything less from player one. Definitely not. Here we go. Getting the banana confirmed, but not really getting too much off of it. And Chun really controlling the stage right now, and the projectiles are going to be a big nuisance right there. See if he's able to get away from that. Just controlling the stage, getting it right back with the barrels. Yeah, and what, we need, what I've seen right now is player one is calling out Chun for jumping at these barrels aggressively, and that is... Almost how he closed out that first stock was the barrel crashing into the stage. So yep. I think Chun does need to adapt in that front, but gotta respect that fair from Young Link. Yeah, all things considered, I mean Chun's playing amazing. You know, mm. player one on the PR. Uh oh, wait a second. Ooh. Oh no! Just like you said earlier, I mean the barrels almost closing a stock, but not quite. Okay. Yeah, I mean look, those rogue barrels just do enough damage. You have to keep your eye on not just Diddy, but those barrels. But player one, great, great two, two for from him, knocking. Chun off. So now we want to see how Chun plays when he's behind the eight ball. Yep. You know, all the links with a lead, very strong, but you know, you definitely have to fight back really hard. And you know, I don't think, oh my God, wait a second. Wait a second. Ooh. He is controlling these barrels like it's just any other projectile right now. Yeah, you would think they're RNG, but with the way player one's been playing today, I oh, no. highly doubt that. Okay, getting forward throw, but not able to find a stock. You know, that's normally your kill throw. You don't really have too much other than that, but. Still not able to find a stock. Yeah, and right now he's out of the detail of, you know, spin attack to confirm. Yep. That's going to be way too hard to hit. So now he's going to have to look for one of the strike hits, whether it's an up air, forward air, or down air. June's just in a really difficult spot because as more damage gets racked onto player one, it's going to be harder to kill him. But there you go. One errant barrels, and it didn't work out for him that time, but still with a controlling lead. We'll see what he does with this spinning attack. Just have to sit there and just watch that move completely with. That's a struggle right there. The banana and the forward yeah. smash and barely dying right there. Chun is going to drop that one to player one. Yeah, and you know, Diddy Kong has so many ways to take your advantage state and turn it on its head through a missed tech or any missed opportunity. 
in disadvantage. So Cargo, looking at how Chun played that game one, you know, I wouldn't be shocked if you wanted to run it back to PS2. That seemed like he was in control and just missed on closing that game out. Yeah, so it's it's like a comfortability pick, you know. Everyone plays on PS2, they always start there, so Chun's definitely gonna have a lot of experience on that stage, and you could see based on the confirms he was getting with that platform extension. Mm -hmm. But now opting for a different stage with a smaller side blast zone, you know, you saw the, the four throw, not kill, and uh, different instances where he should have uh, should have killed and didn't. So I guess Town of City is going to be the choice. I mean, Diddy still, you know, is pretty scary on this stage as well. Yeah, Diddy has a lot of ways to aerially oppress Young Link, but in the same breath, Young Link has ways to just kind of lock down an area and put up a little tent and say, all right, you have to approach from one direction and I'm locking it everything else out. Yep. And man, this banana is just such a threat. And especially since player one's not even using it, just having it in general forces Chun to not really want to be uh, super committal on his landings because any bad landing with an aerial is just gonna, you know, have him find a banana in his face, so. Yeah, and right now player one is just doing such a good job of making Chun think about other options that aren't necessarily true follow-ups because he's so afraid of that. Oh just my like God! That. Like we were saying, he's worrying about this banana so much, and this gives player one such an advantage in the mental game. Full control, right? Oh, yeah. And you look at how player one is just using this monkey flip to get around the stage. It's just, it's it's almost like watching art. It's really? such it's such a beautiful way to play. Player one definitely not shy about using very good wow. move by tune. That was interesting. I feel like he wanted the banana confirmed, but it just worked out in the end. Yeah, I mean, they did buff that move uh, in the most recent patch, so. True. <laughs> Young Link needed it, but. <laughs> did he? Ah, maybe uh, not. I don't know, man. <laughs> but, you know, Chun's going to take that to the bank every day. Maybe, maybe not today, actually. The banks are closed, but uh, still looking good. We've got to find some percent on player one right now. You don't want to let him run the show because that's kind of where you let the game get away at that last stock in, the, in game one. You know, he had a lot of percent on him, and player one really didn't, so he yeah. got to control everything. Absolutely, and what we saw was player one just kind of had Chun in this disadvantage state, putting on 81, holding center, but now Chun is just sitting under this platform using his projectiles as safe options to approach. But you can't overextend that much against player one because now he's just going to pin you in this corner, and that is a horrible situation to be in as young Link. Yep. Man, and even the bomb kind of helping out player one's uh, lead trap right there, just you know bailing him out. But now Chun getting a little bit more percent, and I feel like the confirms are going to start coming in from Chun, you know, a little bit of fishing, but... You know, rightfully so. You, you got to gotta close out player one before he closes you out. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one thing that we're going to look for is player one trying to get a confirm that may not be traditional, like the barrel. God. <laughs> Doesn't even matter, man. I don't know if he meant to do like barrels and just get hit by that boomerang, but, you know, it's pretty smart. You know, he does that in certain other matchups like Mega Man where they want to do the lemons like three times. And he'll just, you know, intentionally up B to have the barrels at his disposal. Uh oh, yeah. oh. they weren't at his disposal that time. Well, you know, any man's game at this point, I think if I'm Chun Chun Maru right now, what I'm trying to do is just keep my composure, keep the center stage, poke player one with my guaranteed confirms, just like this, Yep. and just chip damage. I know Young Ling can extend combos forever, but just take the chip damage and back off when you think it's not true. Facts. That is true, and I mean, he's doing it right now. Got the percent lead, but only for a little bit of time because, man, player one, he gets scary in these situations because he has so much composure having played the game so long. And Chun, you know, a really young player, uh, not really new to the scene, but, you know, the nerves can get to anyone. And oh, absolutely. And when you look at it, player one not just doesn't just have tournament experience from playing for so long, but he also has control of his nerves in these higher stress situations. Yep. And that's a very undervalued portion of his toolkit. Uh-oh. And the oh. forward smash is still connecting? Good oh. stuff to player one, finding the confirm he needed. And, you know, he kind of like sat there for a minute. He's like, wait, that banana actually hit? I didn't think Chun would get hit by that. But unfortunately, that's how it went down for Chun. And Chun's going to probably have a great loser's run. But player one getting the opportunity to play against Cola. Yeah, and you know, with player one going into Col the matchup against Cola, I think that definitely changes how he can approach kind of other tournaments in the future where now he's playing Cola in round of 16. Yeah. It's pretty early compared to most other brackets that he's run into Cola. True. Like 4-4, four, four, where he actually did beat Cola, I'm pretty sure, in winners. So, uh, Yeah, I believe he forced him onto Mario, correct? Yeah. So in winners, he lost. He Like, Cola didn't switch to Mario at all, and mm -hmm. that's why that's probably why he lost. But then in 
grand finals when Cola ran it back, he reversed, or he 3 0'd him in winners and then sent player one to losers in the grand finals, you know, and then closed it out there with snakes. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's going to be sure. an interesting set for sure. Uh, I don't think we're going to be seeing it just for a little bit. I, we're running a. Uh, Pool B, I believe, so we're going to see some matches from there, hopefully. Yeah, interesting to see who we will see come out of Pool B. I know in Pool C we have some other heavy threats, such as Peeb. He's in C3. Oh, yeah. And what I 